first of all, it's nice to see Harry make it here after uh, we read his nice long journey, so that was good that he actually made it. Uh, but in, in, um, um, you know, I thought that was a game, but an improving Northern Illinois team. I was nervous coming in here because, um, you know, I saw the games and the scores of them versus DePaul, which I thought they had a great chance to win that game. They didn't play so good out in Seattle, but I thought they came back and gave Washington a tough game. So coming home, um, you know, us having to travel and get out here, I thought um, it was one of the ga a game that actually scared me to a certain extent. And I feel fortunate that we came out uh, with a win. Uh, on the flip side, um, you know, I thought we could have done a better job on the defensive boards and, um, you know, getting in our press a little bit better. And um, But all in all, uh, you know, we got the win, and uh, we're going to go home and try to improve on a short trip back home and then uh, back out for Miami of Ohio on Wednesday. How were you feeling at halftime? I mean, it was obviously sloppy first half, but you guys you know, had a pretty good lead. Did you feel comfortable at that point? No, not really. Um, I didn't think they shot the ball great from three at that point, so I was anticipating they'd make some, you know, some three-point shots. And, you know, uh, you know, we're still trying to develop a killer a little bit of, you know, when you have teams down of kind of trying to extend the lead and really put it on for 40 minutes. And, um, uh, you know, once again, I thought Northern Illinois came back and, and made a game of it. How much did the foul trouble affect you guys and what you were doing lineup-wise? You know, we played some funky lineups, and, and when that happens, uh, some of our offense sputters to a certain extent because some guys don't know different positions. And, uh, but I thought actually the foul trouble in the first half might help us because the, the – kind of second unit was the one that extend, expanded the lead. Um, and then, you know, I thought in the second half I kind of got comfortable with the lineup, maybe maybe too long, but at the same token, as a, as a comfort level as a coach, um, I kind of stuck with that one lap and ended up, ended up pulling the game out. Does a game like this where it's a little bit sloppy kind of benefit Maxi and his sort of Absolutely. Style? Uh, you know, I think he's better um, sometimes in the games, maybe a little more unorganized or a little bit, um, you know, up-tempo. Up I think he gets to use his athleticism and really make athletic plays, which he did a great job of uh, throughout the contest. Trill, I know this was your, your biggest lead by far, I guess, going into halftime. Uh, I guess, how different is it going, to, going into the half with such a, a comfortable lead? And I guess, how did you guys feel at that point? Uh, it was good. Uh, we just proud that they got us up by like 13 or 14. But uh, I think at the end of the half, it closed out correctly. Uh, they got like a big shot in a minute or two. Uh, we found them or something. Like, we got to, you know, find ways not to. Get that, get those type of plays up on the play ball. Eight seconds on the clock. We should have just been stay on this day. You know, not let him get a foul on the shot. At some point in the second half, was it? This is for either. Here we go again. With the, you know, we got the lead, and then it's here we are in the last minute, and it's close again. I feel like we might be one of the most prepared teams for our kind of close games. I prefer differently. Uh, but yeah, you can, you know, you kind of are waiting. I'm really waiting for the team to. Um, you know, start closing some games out if you have the opportunity. I mean, it's a little bit more difficult on the road. And like I said, this team's playing better with, uh, you know, the kid Nader's been back now for four or five games. The, uh, they're starting to get a little bit of an identity, which is very difficult. I think we've all gone through it. Um, and they're starting to, like, have an identity of how they want to play. And I, I thought they had a good game plan. And, um, you know, all in all, it wasn't a pretty game. But at the same token, uh, we'll take the victory. Were there any one or two things that, that you can identify that allowed them to get back in the game? Yeah, their offensive rebounding. Um, you know, I think to that point, the games they've won, they actually, you know, out-rebound their opponents, and they did that tonight, but unfortunately, they come away with a victory. I, I thought if we could have defensive rebounded better, we would have got more transition baskets, and they wouldn't have got so many second-chance opportunities, which is a key uh, for how they play. TV, uh, 1,000 points, are you happy to just be done with that and move on? Yeah. Uh, did you know? Uh, <laughs> I knew it the last game. Oh, okay. Yeah. This, this, was, this was a nice uh, market league. And, uh, you know, it probably distracted me my first two three games. I missed both of them. I think it's about you know, getting to 1,000 points, but uh, it's cool. Yeah. Do you, you know, does it make it any better that it happened in a win? Uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Uh, better than I mean. I would have been cool if I got one. What does it take to, to develop that, that kind of killer mentality that the coach was, was talking about? To, I guess what happens down the stretch with this team that maybe makes the game a little closer than this year? Um, I can't really put my finger on it. Um, really, we just got to film and see the things we just I think 20 turnovers maybe might be the reason that we came down, made charges and stuff like that in the, in the close game with them. We made charges and we'll turn the ball over. Yeah, I failed to mention the 20 turnovers. Obviously, that's a huge sticking point. And, um, 
really the numerous, uh, many of them were kind of unforced. You know, we had, I thought we had transition like laps that we turned the ball over a few times. And, you know, really, you know, we've worked on trying to improve kind of the, our decision making as a team. And so we're going to continue to uh, zero in on that to a certain extent. Trey's angle looked like a hell of a fun. Yeah, Trey was good. I thought he played very well when he was in there. And I'm starting to get more and more confidence with him as the season goes on. Max, it was just a cramp? Yes. Is Chaz okay? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> he looks fine. He, I don't know, maybe it was, uh, it looked like it was all water, water based, so we'll see. What did you think about the offense, I guess, towards the end of that first half with Trey running the point? I guess, how, how no, I thought he did a great job. Um, really, we defensively, we picked up the pace a little bit and actually pressed them and created some turnovers and got them to play faster than I think they want to. And that's when we were able to get in transition. Um, but Trey did a nice job. He really does a good job of hitting ahead. And, you know, the guys seem like they run a little bit more um, for him at times because he, he does a good job of hitting ahead. And that's something we've worked on with him in practice. You know, Chaz, sometimes he hits ahead, sometimes he's so fast with the ball. Um, Trey, on the other hand, especially a young rookie, get it out of your hands and get out of the way for a little while until you get more comfortable. So what was Chaz's, what was his issue? I just, again, just, just threw up. I'm not sure. If okay. It was, just, okay.